Hello there, wonderful people. Blessings to you. This is Dr. Pastor Ben Lim here. I'm so excited to share this word with you. In fact, I've been brewing, sitting on this word for a few days already. I've been too busy to be able to release this word, but I'm glad today on Friday, Shabbat Shalom, I have some time to come on and say hello, but I have this word to share with you. I believe CERN is failing and will fall in Jesus' name. Can I get an amen? I believe CERN is going to fall and fail in the mighty name of Jesus. Now, there's a few things I want to talk to you today about, praise God, but this is concerning portals. This is concerning demonic and angelic portals, God's portals, uh, and also demonic evil portals. Can I get an amen? So I want to talk to you today about why CERN will fail. I believe with all my heart that CERN will fail and I have some prophetic points to release over you in the mighty name of Jesus. This is Dr. Pastor Ben Lim here. Let me know where you are watching from. Give us some hearts and likes and do share this on your wall. Tag somebody. Can I get an amen? And let me know where you are watching from so I can give some shout outs to you. Praise God. Earlier the other day, just yesterday, myself and our good friend, Prophet Charlie Shep, uh, we did a prophetic breakthrough broadcast. It was so powerful. And there were prophetic words releases unctions being released and decreed in the spirit who here knows that when different men and women of God come together there is a prophetic word that's released a prophetic word that comes forth and it's not just a word but it really is the enacting or the acceleration of the manifestation of it a true sign of a prophet or a prophetic man, woman of God is not only the accuracy of a prophetic word, but it is how, uh, how quickly, how accelerated that word comes to pass. Can I get an amen? Let me tell you, I'm about to release a word today. Yes, CERN is going to fail. These demonic portals are going to close up and be shut and it will fail in Jesus' name. But I also have some things to share with you today in Jesus' name. So let me know where you are watching from. Praise God. I know it's Friday evening. It's Friday time. So many people are probably driving back home or maybe they're finishing their job and you know they're going to their late night afternoon party etc but i have a word to share with you today and i'm going to talk about what cern is and we're going to talk about the georgia guidestones as well because i believe that there is a shift there is a crumbling a shaking there is a change in the mighty name of jesus can i get an amen so let me know where you were watching from give some hearts and likes share this on your wall so good to see all of you wonderful beautiful precious people happy friday shabbat shalom praise god i had a wonderful prophetic breakthrough broadcast yesterday with prophet charlie champ and of course even last night i was on clubhouse with my good friend prophet Tadius. And we talked about the anointing of revival. What does it mean to be a revivalist? Somebody say, I am a revivalist. Can I get an amen? So today I want to talk to you about why CERN will fail. God is shutting down. God is destroying demonic portals. God is destroying different demonic gateways, altars, portals. And he's closing them and shutting them strong in the mighty name of Jesus. Can I get an amen? We got Laura Rennie, Pretoria, South Africa. God bless you. Saturday morning there, Pretoria, South Africa. Mary Muniz, Liz Garcia, Elsie from New Jersey. God bless you. B. Shorty, God bless you. Let me know where you're watching from, people of God, and do tag somebody and share this on your wall. Amen. Because in a few minutes, I'm going to go into our word for today. And I'm going to talk to you, prophesy, release this word why CERN will fail. God is closing up demonic portals. Can I get a name? Tatiana, Megan from New York. God bless you. Margaret Kilue. No party for me. Susan Larson. God bless you. Party time with Jesus. Amen. Jatara Springdale, Arkansas, California. Hallelujah. Serena Nicole. God bless you. Child of Most High. God. Connie Javier says, I am a revivalist. Praise the Lord. Laura Allen is. God bless you. Help me to get these numbers up, people of God. I know it's Friday. Here in the West Coast, people are just getting off of work. In the East Coast, people are par probably parting it up or going to dinner parties and engagements. But I want to share this word. I know it's an odd, peculiar time for me to come on. But I want you to help me get these viewers up. Help me to get these numbers up in Jesus' name. Can I get an amen? Because in a minute, I'm going to begin to release the word that God has given me 
about why CERN will fail. And Susan is asking, what is CERN? CERN is pretty much a demonic portal that the World Economic Forum is trying to open up that these globalists, they created a whole space, they created a portal uh, with technology, with science to extract the God matter or dark particles, to separate these dark particles, to pretty much create a black hole and to create a big bang that started the so-called creation. But we already know the big bang started with our big God. His name is big G O D. Amen. God is the one who created the big bang. All right. God is the one who created the heavens and the earth. Jehovah, Yahweh, the God of the Bible. Amen. But CERN is a demonic portal. CERN is a demonic gateway that they're creating. They, they already created, they already launched it on July, July 5th. And of course, we didn't hear anything about it since then. But they already launched CERN on July 5th. And pretty much it is a demonic portal, a demonic gateway built by man. It is a modern day pyramid or a modern day Tower of Babel. It is a modern day Chichen Itza. It is a modern day Egyptian pyramid. It's a modern day Tower of Babel and a modern day Asherah pole to open up a black hole in the spirit and scientifically in the natural to open up a black hole, to try to recreate the Big Bang, to try to be God and to tr release demons and principalities from that realm to this realm. But I'm here to tell you that CERN will fail. I'm here to declare unto you as a man of God in the spirit realm, CERN will fail. As a tower of Babel has fallen, so will CERN in Jesus' name. Someone say amen. So I want to get into this word. I'm already starting, but help me get the viewerships up. Tag somebody, share this word with somebody. Because this is going to be very important for you to hear. Can I get amen? And once again, happy Friday. And I have a word to share with you. That CERN will fail. And God is closing up these demonic portals. In the mighty name of Jesus. Can I get an amen? So first and foremost, CERN. <clears throat> we already know. Okay, you can do the research. You can look on Google, etc., etc. But pretty much CERN is a demonic portal that the World Economic Forum, pretty much these globalists, these cabalists, these leftists are trying to open up and start. And this demonic portal is doing three things. It's supposed to create a big bang effect. All right, big bang effect. They're trying to recreate a big bang effect with all of these neutrons, electrons, protons, all of this electrical power. <clears throat> Number two, the second thing this CERN is doing is it separating <clears throat> dark matter or God matter? It's separating certain cells from the cellular molecular level. So it's separating things so that they can play God. Okay. Number three, what it's doing, it's creating a black hole so that demons from the underworld can come forth into this realm. And of course, a lot of people are saying, oh, this is the book of Revelation 19. It's talking about, uh, you know, uh, it's talking about the abyss. They're opening up the abyss. Let me tell you, people of God, the abyss is not opened up yet. I know there's a lot of end times eschat eschatological conspiracy theories. There's a lot of eschatology theologians out there. But let me tell you, it is not the end times yet. It is far from the end times. It's just the beginning of times. I believe it's the beginning of the end times, but it's not the end of the end times. So I'm here to declare unto you that CERN will fall. And the Lord began giving me this word around July 3rd, 4th as articles, videos about the CERN started coming up. And of course, CERN was, uh, CERN was started on July 5th, okay, in Europe. It was started on July 5th. And the Lord began speaking to me saying that CERN will fail. This modern day Tower of Babel will fall in Jesus' name. And I want you to hear this. Because CERN is going to fail and fall in the mighty name of Jesus. And here's five reasons why. All right, I have five reasons why. <clears throat> in fact, the Lord gave me these downloads. So these are prophetic reasons why. Five prophetic reasons why CERN is going to fail. He who has ears to hear, let him hear. 
If you have eyes to see, let them see. Can I get an amen? So I want you to pray to all the ghosts. Give me some hearts and likes and share. Amen. So number one, the number one reason, the first reason why CERN is going to fall is because number one, the Lord said that this is the year where demonic portals will close and demonic realms will be shut down. That was the first prophetic word I released in this year for the 22 prophetic prayer points, 22 prophetic keys for year 2022. It's on YouTube. It's on my website. Does anybody remember that? The Lord gave me 22 prophetic words to release over this year. And the first word out of the 22 prophetic points was number one, God is closing doors to demonic realms and portals and opening up realms of angels. If you believe that, say amen. We already know once again, the Georgia Guidestones fell. Again, another portal, another realm, another altar to the demonic of the new world, one world order that fell. And I believe CERN is also going to fall as Roe versus Wade fell, as every Goliath is about to fall. This is a year where God is closing, say closing. God is shutting every demonic realm and portal in the spirit in Jesus name. So the Lord spoke this through me at the beginning of the year. He said, I am closing number one out of 22 prophetic words. The first prophetic word was God is closing doors to demonic realms and portals and is opening up realms to angels. Can I get an amen? Let me tell you, the enemy is trying to stir up a flood and stir up a massacre. But God is winning. God is on the winning side. We are on the winning side. We are on the throne seated with Jesus in heavenly realms and places. Can I get an amen? Number two, the second thing the Lord said, the second reason why CERN will fail is because this is the year of the open door. What does that mean? This is the year where God is opening up doors, not the devil. The devil is trying to open up counterfeit doors. But in the spirit, God is opening up doors. God is opening up gateways and portals. So God is opening up the storehouses of heaven for you in the mighty name of Jesus. So this is a year of open doors, 2022. I've been prophesying this. Many different prophets and men and women of God have been saying this. This is a year of the open doors, the year of the double. Come on, somebody, everyone say double. So this is the year of the open door, according to Isaiah 22, 22. So the Bible says in Isaiah 22, 22, I have placed on his shoulders the key of David to close doors that no man can close and to shut, to open doors that no man can open. What does that mean? That means you and I, we the church, we have apostolic ecclesia legislative order authority to shut doors. Can I get an amen? I'm telling you, God is shutting doors. God is opening up doors in the spirit and God is shutting doors to the evil, to the demonic. Let me tell you, pedophilia is about to be exposed and be destroyed. God is cleaning up the human trafficking. Even as God cleaned up the abortion, the murder of babies, that Asherah pole Planned Parenthood unto Malek and Baal and Abaddon is closed and shut down. In Jesus' name, God is also now shutting down homosexuality, LGBTQ plus A, the trans and the drag queens, all of these evil, demonic, wicked things are about to be shut down in Jesus' name. You and I, we have the authority in the spirit. We have the authority by prayer. God is giving you the keys. Can I get an amen? So the Lord said and prophesied, this is the year of the open door. Someone say open doors. So God is opening up doors in the spirit for his presence, his fire, his glory to come. Not for the enemy, shoo, not for the devil to open up demonic portals. Can I get an amen? Number three, the third reason why CERN will fail. The third reason why the Georgia Guidestones fell. Come on, somebody. And did I not say, did the Lord not prophesy through his servant that this month in July, get ready for extreme weather patterns domestic terrorist attacks in this month. We need to pray against unusual weather. We need to pray against unusual happenstances and happenings. And that's already happening. Can I get an amen? And the third reason why CERN will fail is simply because it's not time yet. Some would say it's not time yet. Simply it is not time yet. What does that mean? It's not time. 
It's not time for the end times yet. It's not time for Revelation 19. It's not time for the abyss to be opened up yet, okay? I'm not claiming that I am an end time scholar, and but I am also not claiming that I know it all, and I'm not claiming that I know when Jesus is gonna rend the heavens. But I do believe, I claim those all my heart, I do believe that it is not the end of the end times. We may be in the beginning, we may be in the precursors, the birth pains, but we are not in the end times yet. So I believe it is not the Revelation 19 time right now. So number three, the third reason why CERN will fail is because it's not yet time. And I declare right now, God is frustrating the plans of our enemies. God is frustrating the plans of the left, of the demonic cabal globalist agenda. God is frustrating the plans of the enemy in the mighty name of Jesus. If you believe this when we say amen, it's simply not time yet, people of God. It's not time for aliens to invade. It's not time for the second coming of Jesus. Not time for, you know, uh, the rapture. It's not time yet. So, so many end times conspiracy theories, people who are so-called theologians and scholars and think they've arrived. They think that this is Revelation 19, the abyss opening up. However, it is not a coincidence, hear me now. CERN is built on the same land where the temple of uh, Apollos, the temple of Apollyon, which is the God of death. This is built on the same landmass where years ago in biblical times, the temple of Apollyon was built. So yes, there is a realm in the spirit where they're trying to do it again in a demonic realm. But we declare right now, God is frustrating. God is destroying. And even now, God's gonna send lightnings and thunderbolts. God's gonna expose. God's going to destroy the plans of the WHO, of the World Economic Forum, of the WEF, of UNESCO, of the UN, all of these so-called United One World Globalist Elitist Agendas. God is destroying and shaking in the mighty name of Jesus. For it shall be as dust, says God. Remember in the book of Genesis, the word of God says, God looked from heaven down below and said, if they join, there's nothing that they cannot do. So they frustrated the plans of the enemies. Come on, they destroyed the Tower of Babel. I'm telling you, it's coming down in the mighty name of Jesus. Somebody shout hallelujah. Help me to get this over 100 viewers today. So number three, the third reason why CERN will fail and fall, I believe, because it is not time yet. It simply is not time yet. Give me some hearts and likes to share this on your wall, people of God. Number four, the fourth reason why the rebuilding of the Temple of Apollyon, the rebuilding of a demonic gateway or a demonic portal, the number four reason why is because I saw in the spirit, this is actually a prototype. This is the first of many. That's both good news and bad news. The Lord showed me that this is a prototype and the prototype is going to fail. However, it will eventually evolve into many different types of portals. So this is a prototype and there's gonna be many more of these type of CERNs that the leftist demonic cabal type of occultic people are so demonized and so deceived and bewitched in. So this is the first of many that's gonna come on the scenes even in the next few years. This is the first of many. However, I do believe that CERN will fail, fall, and there's gonna be an explosion. However, that prototype is going to evolve into many more little smaller type of CERNs all around. So we need to pray against that, that God will shut it forth in Jesus' name. Can I get an amen? And the fifth reason, number five, the fifth reason why I believe CERN will fail, and it already has failed, and it will fall. Can I get an amen? The fifth reason why CERN will fail is because the Bible says the gates of Hades will not prevail. The gates of Hades will not prevail. And of course, Hades was one of the gods, and Hades is one of the words for hell, okay, in the Greek. 
There's, I think, three to four different words for hell in the Greek and even listed in the New Testament. However, the gates of hell, the gates of Hades will not prevail against you, against you and I, the church. Jesus brought the disciples over to Caesarea Philippi and Jesus showed them the cave, the entrance, the portal, the gateway called Caesarea Philippi, where it was known as the gates of Hades. Literally, people could still hear screams from sacrifices. They could hear humans screaming. They could hear people, human beings screaming, shouting, yelling out loud because they were being tortured by demonic evil spirits. They were being cut, sacrificed. They were being eaten up alive by these demonic entities. And here's Jesus in Matthew 16. Come on, somebody. I feel a preach come up in my spirit. And Jesus brings these 12 little Jewish boys. He brings these 12 Jewish young men that are barely in their teenage years. And Jesus says, you see this gate of Hades. You see this place that is so, uh, so notorious and nefarious and infamous for killing babies, for destroying people and for haunting, for being a gateway, a portal of hell to Hades. But Jesus says the gate of Hades will not prevail. Come on, somebody. And Jesus says, upon this rock, I will build my church and I will give you the keys of the kingdom. Whatever you bind will be bound in heaven. Whatever you loose will be loosed on earth. And Jesus says the gate of Hades will not prevail. Can I get a hallelujah? That is the fifth reason why I believe CERN will fail and fall. Number one, the Lord said God is closing and shutting demonic portals and realms this year. That was the first word out of 22 prophetic words God released over this year for 2022. Number two, it is a year of the open door. Isaiah 22, 22, which means you and I have authority to shut things in the spirit. Can I get amen? Number three, it's not time yet. Somebody just commented, yes, the enemy is speeding things up. But let me tell you, it's not time yet. The devil is trying to accelerate his plots and his plans and purposes. But it is not time yet for Revelation 19 for the abyss to be opened up. Let me tell you, it's not time for the abyss. It's not time for Revelation 19. It's not the end of times yet. There's still time, people of God. It doesn't mean we, we can mess around. It doesn't mean we can fool around with cheap grace. We can muck around. But no, I believe simply it's not time yet for the enemy to fully release the Antichrist spirit on planet Earth. Number four, I saw this as a prototype. CERN, what's being created is a prototype. It's not the ends all be all. It's just the beginning. There's going to be many more CERNs, unfortunately. There's going to be many more CERNs. There's going to be many more of these types of projects that the UN, the W, uh, the World Economic Forum, WEF, the WHO, there's going to be many more of these types of things. That the United Nations is going to try to do. The globalist cabal is Zebeka is going to try to do. So this is just the beginning. But we know, according to number point number five, the gates of Hades will not prevail. Every plot, plan, purpose of the enemy will be exposed, will be exterminated. Ha, ha, ha. Who are you to try to be God? Who are you to try to be like God? Who are you to try to build up a tower of Babel to try to be Jehovah? There's only one God. His name is Jesus. There's only one God in heaven and earth, the maker of the universes. His name is Jesus Christ. And let me tell you, God looks down from heaven above and he laughs at his enemies. Hallelujah. Psalms 2. He laughs at his enemies. Somebody shout hallelujah. I want you to begin to pray with me in the spirit right now, people of God, because I believe God is shutting down CERN. If these five points, these five reasons make sense to you, if it bears witness with you, if you believe this as the word of God, as the word of the Lord, I want you to give us some hearts and likes and share this on your wall. Hallelujah. I need you to clap your hands wherever you're watching from because the word of God is true. He is closing demonic portals, doors, and realms this year. Even as the Georgia Guidestones were brought low. Even as Roe versus Wade was brought. Come on, somebody. It's like every day, every week. Do you think it's a coincidence that the Prime Minister of the United Kingdom, UK, Boris Johnson stepped down just yesterday and even just yesterday we see uh, the ex 
president prime minister of Japan assassinated. Things are happening. The one world order is moving around like an occultic, demonic, Masonic gang, like a demonic mafia. And they're trying to clean up things. Did the Lord not say July is the month of the great reset? In this month, the enemy is trying to reset things, but also God is releasing a reset. Can I get a hallelujah? People of God, I believe right now, in this season, in this month, hear me now, even as I prophesy just a few days ago, I prophesied that in the month of July, there's going to be unusual weather patterns. There's going to be unusual happenings, unusual happenstances. And did I not prophesy and, pr and said to pray that we need to pray against domestic and international terrorist attacks? Guess what, people of God? The assassination. Boris Johnson stepping down. Things are shifting. It's all part of the one world order. My goodness, so much has happened even in the last two, three weeks. The Supreme Court, Roe versus Wade, the Supreme Court said it is constitutional for you to carry a concealed weapon in the United States. It is a U.S. constitutional God-given right for you to pray in schools, in public schools. And right after that, we see, hallelujah, we're seeing CERN try to open up who are you to try to be god and to play god god laughs at you and then we see right now the georgia guidestones mysteriously shaking and breaking down let me tell you i believe hear me now with the georgia guidestones <laughs> and i know a lot of prophetic charismatic christians will disagree with this but i do believe that that is a distraction. I believe the Georgia Guides was falling. Yes, praise God for the victory. Yes, praise God for the supernatural destruction. But I believe it's a distraction. I believe the enemy. And once again, test these words, people of God. Because we see in part, we know in part, we perceive, we articulate. And I believe what I'm seeing is that as it fell, it's a distraction because there's something else the enemy's trying to erect and build up. There's something else the devil, the globalists, the UNESCO, the One World Order is trying to build up and erect in its place. So hear me now, people of God. Not everything is what it seems to the naked eye. Not everything is what it seems and what it appears to be. And now we have CERN and now we have this, but I believe CERN will fail and CERN will fall. Can I get an amen? In fact, I see in the spirit, we need to pray for all of the demonically possessed people, these scientists. We need to pray that all of these people that are involved with CERN and the left United Nations, the globalist one world agenda, we need to pray that they get set free. They need to stop drinking human blood. They need to stop the sacrifice of human baby fetus. We need to pray that they repent and come to Jesus Christ. I believe this Antichrist spirit is going to be exposed. The spirit of the Antichrist is going to be exposed. Can I get a hallelujah? And hear me now. I feel the word of the Lord coming to me. The Lord says, even in this month of July, there will be more public figures. I even saw the Pope in the spirit. There will be more public figures that there's going to be exposure even in this month of July. Hear me now. In this month of July, there will be more public figures. People in Hollywood, elitists, government officials, presidents, even by the end of this month of July, there's going to be more elitist public figures that's going to be exposed we need to pray people of god because there is a reset it's called the great cleansing the enemy like the occult realm they're trying to cleanse they're trying to purge what do you think COVID 19 was it was to kill the human race it's to 
decrease the human population. It's population control. What do you think the food, the chemicals, the GMOs, the things in our waters, the things that we're showering with, the chemtrails and, and the sky. What do you think all, it's about population control. It's about the demonic reset. It is about the reset of the globalist agenda. But God has a plan. Shakaraba. God, has, I feel the spirit of prophecy. I need you to pray with me right now. God has a plan. Every demonic tower of Baal, tower of Babel, Asherah pole will come crumbling down in the name of Jesus. And God says, even this month of July, you will see a greater exposure of public figures, even in the church world, in the government world, and in the Hollywood elitist world, says God. There will be a greater shaking because it is a planned plot of the enemy for the purge. But even in midst of it, God is moving. Even in midst of it, Jehovah is moving. Hallelujah. For this month of July, this month of Tammuz, it is the month of the great reset. Can I get a hallelujah? I need you to pray with me in the Holy Ghost, people of God. I need you to pray in the Holy Spirit with me, people of God. Because I sense right now God is releasing archangels. God is releasing warrior angels right now. God is releasing guardian angels right now. God is releasing angels in the spirit realm and in the natural to cover you, to protect you. Did I not say, my goodness, I'm bringing up my notes here. My goodness. Someone shout hallelujah. Zerabra and the 22 prophetic keys for 2022. Thank you, Jesus. 22 prophetic keys, prophetic points for 2022. My goodness. Prayer point number 11. I wrote here, pray against assassination attempts in the White House. I said, pray against Prophetic prayer point number 11 out of 22. Pray against assassination attempt in the White House. The assassination against the president of Japan. Yes, it's Japanese, but he was a good friend of Donald J. Trump. So let me tell you, we need to pray against more assassination attempts. Boris Johnson, the prime minister of the United Kingdom, said being that was not a coincidence. There's a shift going on. There's a shaking going on. And more and more is going to hit the fan. Since Glassy and Maxwell got locked up in prison, sentenced to 20 years in jail, now it's a domino effect. Now it is a ripple effect. Someone shout hallelujah. As well, people of God, we need to pray for this. I'm getting number 18 and 19. I released 22 prophetic points for year 2022. And you can see it on YouTube. I know somebody earlier posted the link for that so you could watch it. But prophetic prayer point number 18 and number 19. The Lord showed me and spoke through me, number 18. The Lord said there will be internet and technology shutdowns. And number 19, there will be shutdowns and lockdowns like a martial law in cities and neighborhoods, like a martial law, shutdowns, lockdowns, electrical wiring shutdowns, your phones will not work, internet will be shut down in this year, 2022. I saw cities going black. I saw cities going black and losing power and outages in the United States. Trust me, people of God, this year, there's so much shift and shaking and the reset that this is all a part of the demonic agenda. But let me tell you, God has the upper hand. God has a healing hand. God has a trump card hidden in his sleeve. Can I get an amen? God has not showed all of his cards yet. God is still moving. God is still working. And you and I, we need to be prepared. We need to be ready. Because CERN is going to be shut down. However, there will be many more mini CERNs. Many more demonic altars that the enemy is going to try to hoist and set up all around the world. 
If this word bears witness with you, I want you to give me some hearts and likes and share this on your wall. Somebody shout hallelujah. Now, I want to pray with you, people of God. I want to pray with you right now because I believe today, on July 8th, on the Shabbat Shalom, on the Shabbat, wherever you're watching from, God is giving you peace and rest from your enemies. God is going to give you divine revelations, wisdom, and strategies, downloads and uploads. God is beginning to reset your soul and your spirit. And let me tell you, people of God, the Lord wants to encourage you. He wants to strengthen you, and he wants to get you ready for the days to come. Can I get an amen? So I want to pray for you. Lord, I thank you for the opening and the closing of doors. I thank you for demonic portals and realms, for CERN that will fail and fall. The Georgia Guidestones fell and was destroyed. But I believe it's a distraction. And I believe there's something else that the enemy is trying to conjure and cook up and erect in its place. God, I thank you that these demonic altars are falling and failing this year this is the year of the open door 2022 is the year of isaiah 22 22 it is the year of the open door where god is opening up the heavens in midst of the enemy in midst of the enemy's gates being closed somebody shout hallelujah i want you to pray in the spirit of god just for another 20 seconds with me. Shara brata tara brata tara blonda. Zabakur rabasara rurush karabranda. Somebody shout fire. I see the fire of God falling. I see the fire of God coming. Remember, it was the fire of God that destroyed the false altar to Baal. It was the fire of God that consumed the false prophets of Jezebel. Hallelujah. This is a Mount Carmel moment. Hallelujah. It's the fire of God. Somebody shout fire. Somebody shout hallelujah. If you believe this to be a word from the Lord, I want you to say amen. And I want you to give it some hearts and likes. CERN is going to fall and fail. It's done. It's said. It's written. The Bible says the gates of hell will not prevail. The word of God says that he has given us authority to close doors and to open doors. And I believe it's not the end times yet. It's not the time yet for Revelation 19 to come forth. And God is laughing from the heavens above. He's looking down and he's laughing. Can I get an amen? People of God, the Lord bless you. I pray for the fire of God to come upon you, to consume you from the top of your head to the soles of your feet. This weekend, hear me now, this weekend, get ready for dreams visions and for revelation dreams vision and revelation if you receive that say amen praise god give me some hearts and likes people of god and i want you to share this on your wall if you agree that this is a true word say amen remember months ago the lord gave me such a strong word many many to kill a person the finger is on the wall the writing is on the wall and the lord says joe biden Kamala Harris, the Democratic Party, the Republicans, the writing is on the wall. Many, many to kill a parson. I have this against you. This is a year where the high places are going to fall and the low, the lowly in spirit will be raised and lifted up in Jesus. If you believe that, say amen. Praise God. People of God, if you enjoyed this broadcast, I want you to give us a heart and like, do subscribe to our page. Please subscribe to our page. Click the bell button to be notified whenever I come on live. I come on live spontaneously a few times a week. We have different words broadcast we do all throughout the week and month. If you enjoy our ministry, the grace, the anointing that's on this ministry, the prophetic words, revelation that comes forth, please partner with us. Be a part of us. Be a part of the glory stream. Amen. So give this page a like subscribe a follow amen and also click the bell button to be notified whenever i come alive click the bell button on the bottom to be notified also i want to remind you next week we are doing a conference in hawaii myself prophet charlie champ and brother jake hamilton if you are able to fly out do join us 
all right? And, or uh, we're going to be in Hawaii. We're going to be in Oahu and Waikiki, Honolulu area. However, if you want to join the private online group, you can also register to watch online. Can I get amen? You can also register to watch online to be a part of the private online group for our conference next week, Glory Impartation Hawaii. Myself, Prophet Charlie Shant, and also with Jake Hamilton. It's going to be powerful. Amen. And also, I want to remind you this coming Monday, I have a free webinar that I'm doing this Monday, July 11th at 7 p.m. PST. I'm doing a free webinar called Gloriology. We're going to talk about the glory of God. What is the glory of God? What are the me mechanics or the sciences of God's glory? How do you move in God's glory? Is there a difference from the anointing and the gifts and his glory? What happens when you're in the glory realm? So this Monday, we have a free webinar on gloriology. I love the glory of God. Listen, I have paid the price. I've pressed in for the glory to understand language terminology, to understand revelation. And God has taught me personally in how to move in the glory of God. So if you want to learn more about the glory of God, if you want to understand the mechanics, what does it mean to move in the glory? How do you manifest the glory? How do you increase in the glory realm? I want to invite you this Monday, July 11th, 7 p.m. PST. We have a free webinar. That's right. It's free now, people of God. We have a free webinar called Gloriology. I don't know about you, but I want the glory of God. I want it all. I need Jesus. I want Jesus. Can I get an amen? So you can register, praise God. You can register online at our events. You can register at the Eventbrite. We just pinned it to the top there. How, if you're going to be part of the free webinar next Monday, I want you to comment me. Jesus. And lastly, as we close today, I want to release a blessing over you. God, I thank you for the fire of God, for the hedge of your protection, that every single person that is here on this broadcast, under the sound of my voice, that they will experience the glory, the angelic, the fire of God. No weapon formed against you shall prosper, and you shall condemn, you shall put down any evil, ill-spoken, slanderous word, word curse, hex vex that is released against you. Lord, I thank you for the power of Jesus. Tonight, today, wherever they're watching from, may our friends experience the power and the glory of God. Somebody shout hallelujah. People of God, give us some hearts and likes. Share this on your wall. They got all these people commenting me. Because they're going to be part of our free webinar, Zoom in our Zoom webinar this Monday. On Gloriology, we're going to talk about the glory of God. So if you want to learn more about the glory, how to move in the glory, how to move in the miracles. What is the glory? How is it different from the anointing? Join. It's free. Amen. Invite your friends. Invite your haters. Spread the word, people of God. I love you. This is Dr. Pastor Ben Lim. And CERN will fail and fall. Can I get an amen? Just as the Georgia Guidestones fell, much more will fail and fall in Yeshua's name. This is Dr. Pastor Ben Lim. Thanks for watching. Thanks for joining us. Thanks for giving us a like, a follow, subscribing, for being a part of our family. God bless you. I'll see you soon. Ciao. Happy Friday. Shabbat Shalom.